What's life like when your mother is one of the world's most famous singers? Renee Charles Angelil knows, for better and for worse. Renee Charles Angelil came into the world with plenty of fanfare, and it was all thanks to his famous mother. It's no secret that Celine Dion is widely recognized as one of the greatest singers of her generation, so the news of her firstborn child rocked the globe. On an episode of Carpool Karaoke with James Corden, the My Heart Will Go On singer revealed that Renee Charles's birth in 2001 was announced to the world a little prematurely. Apparently, she hadn't yet held her son when she noticed something on the TV. And the doctor is announcing live on television. Yeah. A beautiful, healthy boy. The media circus surrounding Renee Charles' birth may have been extravagant, but the world had long awaited the arrival of the singer's miracle baby. A few years before, his father, Rene Angelil, had been diagnosed with squamous cell carcinoma on a lymph gland in his neck, and so he and Celine decided to freeze his sperm out of caution due to the possible risks of chemotherapy. Due to his low sperm count, doctors performed an intracytoplasmic sperm injection, which involves fertilizing an egg with one lone sperm cell. After a round of IVF treatments, Dion became pregnant with Renee Charles, the very same day she found out that her husband's cancer had been cured. Considering his mother's fame, it's perhaps no surprise that Renee Charles had an unconventional childhood. He grew up homeschooled, often joining his mother on her world tours or Vegas residencies while she managed motherhood and her bustling career. In an interview with TV Guide in 2008, Celine Dion shared that she had reservations about deciding to take her son along on tour, not knowing how he would adjust to homeschooling. She said, Yes, Renee Charles has been homeschooling for almost two years now. It was a big, big concern for me, the school thing. My husband was extremely smart in school, but I wasn't. I didn't want my son to suffer my experience of school. Despite her concerns, Renee Charles proved her wrong and ended up being ahead of his classmates. She said, It's such a relief for me that he loves school and he's succeeding. I couldn't ask for better. Eventually, around 2010, Renee Charles transitioned from homeschooling and Skype classes to attending in person school. Celine Dion may have had the eyes of the world watching her, but she did her best to give Renee Charles a normal childhood. She told the Associated Press, I certainly don't see him at five the way I was at five, starting something professional. I so much want him to be a kid. Renee Charles dealt with the heartbreaking loss of his father when he was just 14 years old. Renee Angelil died of throat cancer in 2016, having survived two bouts with the disease since his diagnosis in 1999. After meeting Celine in 1980, Renee worked as his wife's manager and mentor throughout her career. She wanted to be a star, I wanted her to be a star. Renee Charles' younger siblings, twins Eddie and Nelson, were just five years old at the time of their father's death, and Renee Charles took on a major role in their lives following the tragedy. During the funeral service, he honored his father's Quebec heritage by speaking partly in French, giving a heartfelt tribute to Renee's lasting legacy. He said, 15 years is not a long time for a son to get to know his father. You had a busy life, but we were communicating through golf, hockey, poker and smoked meat, and a lot of other wonderful food, bonding more and more as time went by. The eldest son also mentioned his commitment to continuing his father's legacy by passing on Renee's life lessons to Eddie and Nelson. He said, You left me now with enough good memories of you to share with my younger brothers. As they grow older, without you being around, I'll make sure to pass on what I've learned from you. Renee Charles grew up with two Canadian parents, so naturally he inherited a love of hockey. Celine Dion's eldest son developed quite the skills on the ice, and the singer described him as very athletic in an interview with People magazine in 2015. Renee Charles was especially involved in hockey throughout his teenage years, and it seems that Dion has long been her son's biggest fan. She even attended one of his games in 2017 decked out in custom fan gear. Sporting a hockey jersey inscribed with Angelil on the back, an Instagram user captured a video of the Grammy winner Dan Dancing along to music at her son's game. The, the privilege of being a mom. Um, it's my best reward. Hockey has become something of a bonding experience for Dion and her kids, who have been spotted together at various NHL games over the years. In a 2023 Instagram post, for example, she wrote, My boys and I had such a fun time visiting with the Montreal Canadiens after their hockey game with Vegas Golden Knights in Las Vegas Monday night. Thank you for meeting us after the game, guys. That was memorable for all of us. Rene Charles Angelil lives a mostly private life and isn't big on social media, so he's not one to talk about his love life. However, that hasn't stopped multiple sources from reporting that he has been dating Angelique Veckenman since 2016. Veckenman is a figure skater in Las Vegas. According to the French website Gala, the two started seeing each other after Rene Charles was practicing hockey in the same area, both sharing a love for sports on ice. It's unclear whether Rene Charles and Veckenman are still together these days, however. While it was reported 
reported the pair split up in the fall of 2023, they were photographed together leaving the Royal Monceau Hotel in Paris in July 2024, so there's no telling whether or not their romance is on thin ice. René Charles seems to be following in his mother's footsteps as he set out on a music career of his own. In 2018, the then 17-year-old surprised his mother when he released two rap songs he produced himself, uploading them to SoundCloud where they soared to the top of the Canadian R&B charts. René Charles sampled two of The Weeknd's hit tracks in his songs and later released three other tracks, some of which took him just an hour to write and record. He told The Gazette that his mother was shocked to hear about his success on the streaming platform, adding, I just felt like keeping it on the low, but she loved it. She was just kind of stunned at first because she'd never heard anything from me. It was kind of a weird conversation. In 2021, Renee Charles produced his first EP, which included five new tracks under the name R.C. Angelil. No one was happier about this than Dion, who took to X to share her thoughts on his music venture. She wrote, I'm so proud of my son. My love for him is so strong and it touches me deeply that one of his passions is also one of mine. René Charles Angelil helped his mother through one of the most difficult moments in her life, which began when she received some life-changing news in 2022. Around that time, the singer revealed on social media that she had been diagnosed with stiff person syndrome. According to Johns Hopkins Medicine, SPS is a rare autoimmune neurological disorder that most commonly causes muscle stiffness and painful spasms that come and go and can worsen over time. There's no known cure, but medicine and physical therapy can help alleviate pain associated with the condition. If I can't run, I'll walk. If I can't walk, I'll crawl. While dealing with the symptoms of her condition, Dion was forced to cancel appearances and tours, but she has since found strength in her children, who encourage her to live fully despite the setbacks. She told People magazine, I let them know, you lost your dad, but mum has a condition and it's different. I'm not going to die. It's something that I'm going to learn to live with. Dion admitted that she had dealt with muscle pain and spasms in her throat and feet for nearly two decades, but she didn't want to appear weak in front of her family or fans. She recalled, It took my whole life, but it's like if my kids are rollerblading, for example, and one of their ankles is hurting. They don't want to tell me because I'm going to say, well, take a break from rollerblading. Dealing with the symptoms of her SBS presented new obstacles for Celine Dion, but it didn't stop her from presenting at the 2024 Grammy Awards alongside her son, no less. Dion made a rare public appearance with Renee Charles at that year's award show, presenting the Grammy for Album of the Year to Taylor Swift. The crowd was overjoyed to see Dion back in action after the shocking news of her diagnosis. During the show, she said, Thank you all. I love you right back. When I say that I'm happy to be here, I really mean it from my heart. While the singer's return caused quite a stir on the internet, so did her son's presence, as many fans were shocked to see Renee Charles all grown up and looking as dapper as ever. One user wrote on X, Celine Dion's son looks like a royalty. Another simply said, Beautiful moment. Fans were delighted to see Celine Dion give a stunning performance at the opening ceremony of the 2024 Olympic Games. René Charles accompanied his mother to the Games, which was Dion's first performance since her SBS diagnosis. René Charles and Dion were spotted checking into the Royal Monceau Hotel on July 23rd, when the first murmurs of a potential performance by the singer began surfacing on the media. Shortly after the Olympic torch was set aflame, Dion gave a heartfelt rendition of the French song Ima l'amour by Edith Piaf, joined only by a pianist on stage. Dion marked the occasion on X, writing, I'm honored to have performed tonight for the Paris 2024 opening ceremony and so full of joy to be back in one of my very favorite cities. She went on to congratulate the athletes, praising them for their incredible strength and persistence. 